besides what I made on the tweet the other day, because I was, I was actually having a conversation about this, is that it's funny to me how many people are literally turning a leaf when it comes to the whole Drake situation. And I want to get my hands on this, because the reason I want to talk about this is because, one, it's, f it's strange, because the same people, the same people that told me not to defend, defend Drake in this situation, are the same people that literally are going literally with drake on this and i'm like I is it just me or I'm the tables have fucking turned why am i all of a sudden feeling like the tables have turned on me like and then i had that conversation the other day now it turned out to be way too much true because when people make literal comments about the fact that heart part four was similar to how how an ai cover of drake is it just shows the amount of fucking one the amount of trolls which granted i'm i'm not really surprised by that it's a good meme fuck it but this also shows you that the people in the comments it also shows how many people took that seriously and really thought that and it's like i'm at a loss and the only reason i say that is because garen god dmt is the same people that literally think that and I say this right now, that just because Jake Cole backed out, oh, oh, now Drake is our savior. Like, what the fuck? Oh, God, help me. Okay. This is just going to be a whole nightmare of this, isn't it? It's just getting to that point, huh? We're just getting to that point where we're just faking being fans now. Holy shit. Well, I mean, granted, I said this before, faking fans is kind of something that has happened in the past, but never have I thought in a million years where that 180 could turn so f far left it's like what the hell god damn i have never seen something like this turn in my life and it just kind of shows like it's just so delusional <laughs> like the amount of delusion and the amount of cope that's going on with the drake not only the drake fans but the people the um j cole fans that are literally like First of all, literally getting on their knees and literally practically begging, begging Drake to literally, literally finish off a man that he has no capable, or at least no capabilities of fucking going against. Like, it's just sad. It's just sad. Like, it just goes to show you who we fucking deal with in our society. Ark, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, my good friend. Welcome in, welcome in. I hope you enjoy yourself. We are just getting into the nitty gritty stuff of the hip hop war that is going on right now between Drake and almost everybody. Basically, a Thanos arc, what I like to call it, or at least what the internet is calling it right now. The sirens are blaring for the everlasting war. But moving on. Um, basically, I was basically disgusting, uh, disgusting, <laughs> it's still disgusting, but basically I'm discussing the length of how far these J. Cole fans are literally grasping, grasping very hard on, how, on what's going on with, uh, Drake, like they're doing everything they can. Now that their so-called savior is backing out, they're literally doing their best to like, rub their hands and then literally splash every single consequence to, against Juwan, not Juwan, again, God help me, I'm, I'm Jesus, I wasn't even aware and that my text is not where to deliver, you are, how did you not realize that, I was about to say, you wasn't messaging the entire time, I was kind of surprised when you wasn't, um, but yeah, um, back to the conversation at hand, I just found it weird, because it's like, I have never seen a fan base 180 this far in my life, unless it was like gross. I wouldn't say gross core. Um, unless it was yeah, unless it was like literally soft. Eh, I would say soft core, uh, soft core red man anti fans. But other than that, like. It's it's nuts how it could go at this point. Like seriously, it's just nuts. 
I just find it odd that they're just literally like I mean, I mean AI cover of Drake are they crazy are you just that's what I'm saying it's like what is the actual ultim ultimatum of this like you guys are basically making like brain rot takes because you want to like stay on the bandwagon of dealing with Cole as much not dealing with Cole deal with Kendrick as much as you can like I feel like you guys are just literally only going to do because I, I'm only going to predict this because uh, if my prediction is wrong, then this will age like milk. But if it does age well, then surprise, surprise. It's, and admin, please clip this. And I'm going to say it right here, right now. When Drake loses, they're going to bail on him. And literally side with K dot and they're gonna do it and how much want to guarantee another one too when these fans literally see that they also he also lost watch when they turn on him and say oh he was just too bad he couldn't win against uh Kendrick and then I'm gonna go for a third one they're going to try their best to cop themselves out of this by trying to defend Drake more. And that's going to be my third one. And watch... By the way, I have a question. Why is it always the son of the fucking bitches? Why not uh, the daughter of fucked up bitch? <laughs> you know, gender equality. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Why isn't it like that? Um, but yeah, um, that's basically, uh, the assumption of that. And, uh, feel free to, uh, feel free to clip that admin, because, uh, one thing we're sure that's going to be a nightmare, I'll tell you that. Because they're going to, like, they're going to basically, like, eat that shit up. Because <laughs> if that prediction goes out, they're going to, they're going to do exactly what I think they're going to do. And watch when they do it. Watch when they fucking do it. I'm not joking. Watch when they fucking do it.